In this demonstration, we will look at the outstanding STM32U0 ULP, so ultra low power, power consumption. So those are the numbers for the power consumption in different low power modes of the STM32U0 with the wake up times. Starting from the top, in run mode, we can go down to 49 microamp per megahertz in the range 2. In sleep mode, so this is where you know we turn off the CPU, we can reach 100 microamp, so in a, like an example 100 kilohertz, with only six cycles to wake up. In low power sleep, we can reach 13 microamp, so same thing at 100 kilohertz, with only 0.7 microseconds for wake up time. And now come the ultra low powers. First, let's start with the stop mode. So as you can see, the lowest stop mode is the stop two mode. Thanks to this mode, we can go down to 517 nanoamp. So that's amazing. And with only six microseconds for wake up. With the standby modes, we can go down to 30 nanoamp. So with a little bit more time to wake up than you know the stop two mode or the stop modes, with 14 microseconds wake up. So it's still very fast. Even better, with a shutdown mode, you can reach 16 nanoamp, so ultra low power. And the wake up time is of course a little bit uh, higher you know, than uh, the previous modes with a 256 microseconds. Last mode, which is the VBAT mode. So that's when you know, we turn off completely the VDD, basically of the microcontroller, and only the backup you know, domain is uh, preserved, is uh, powered. In this mode, we can reach six nanoamp. For this demonstration, so where we're going to measure current in different low power modes, we will be using this Nucleo here. So Nucleo U031. So this is using the SM32 U031 R8 T6 or T. And this is 64 kilobytes of internal flash in a QFPN 64 package. In order to measure the power consumption, we will use this ST-Link V3 power, so PWR. So this version of the ST-Link is very special. It can debug code and also measure energy consumption at the same time. This tool measures current from few nanoamp up to 500 milliamp with high accuracy down to 0.5% with a resolution down to 1.5 nanoamp. It offers a programmable output source from 1.6 volts to 3.6 volts under up to 2 amp. The ST-Link V3 power offers direct support for Kyle and IAR IDs for power profiling. And also you can use it as a programmer, so using SWD or JTAG, or even some other interfaces like uh, I2C, SPI, UART, GPIOs, and other, you know, like peripherals uh, interfaces that are supported. So this is the setup for the demonstration. So here is the target application, target board. So in our case, this will be the Nucleo U031. Connected to it, our ST-Link V3 power so that we just presented earlier, and then connected to your host machine. Uh, so we connect the ST-Link V3, and we run a software called the STM32 QMonitor Power. The software tool allows you to visualize energy consumption in real time. This is the setup here, the nuclear board right there, and then connected the ST-Link right here, connected to the host machine. So we connected the, the output here to the power of your nuclear board. And so this is the ground. We don't use the auxiliary. In terms of software and firmware, so first the software. So here I have a terminal in our application like a TerraTerm in my case, connected to the nuclear board because I'm doing some printfs from the firmware that is running on the STM32U0. And here is the STM32Q monitor power. 
that is connected to the ST-Link V3 power, as you can see right there. And I selected, you know, the output voltage of the ST-Link to be 1.8 volts, right there, so that's in millivolts, so 1,800. Uh, and here are the different parameters for the acquisition. The target board is powered, as you can see, directly from the ST-Link. And we can also uh, reset. So let me reset the target. And here is the code that uh, we are running. This code is a project example that we provide in our stm 32 cube u 0 package. Okay, so let's run the example. First, we're going to start the acquisition right here on stm 32 q monitor power. And now I will select some different modes. So let's start with the run mode in the voltage range 2 at 16 megahertz, option 12. Okay, so here is the consumption, so the current. So we can say about like 1.2 uh, yeah, 1.2 milliamp, right? Okay, so I'm going to reset the target. And now let's select another mode. So for example, uh, which one we want to try? Let's try a low power slip at uh, 2 megahertz with the flash off. So this will be option uh, 8, right? Okay, here is the power consumption. So ultra low power, as you can see. So we are down to 250 microamp. So very low power, as you can see. Yeah. All right, let's try the stop two now. So I'm going to reset the target again. And let's try, for example, the stop two mode. So option four. So as you can see, it really went down. So let's wait a little bit more to get a better reading about it. It's so small, as you can see. So it's below, you know, uh, one milliamp. So about, we'd say uh, 0 0.8 or even less, like uh, 0 0.7, you know, so uh, 700 uh, nanoamp. So very, very low power. We can try the standby mode. So let's go. And then, uh, we can try also a shutdown. So that would be option zero, which is even lower power mode. So that's all the different low power modes, you know, that we can show 